Hey guys, what's up? This is Spuff Boy, and a welcome to Farming Simulator 15. And what we're looking at today is the biggest and the best tractors of FS15. Um, I'm quite excited for this video because we get to look at tractors, the bread and butter of any farm. Um, so I thought that we would go straight into it. I mean, we don't need any uh, introduction to what a tractor is, I don't think. And we're going to start off with this. The oh my god! Right, this is going to show up straight away my uh, lack of knowledge. But I can appreciate a good tractor. I might not know the specific names of them. So the Burra Burra Burra. I'm going to call it the Burra Six One Three Five. So this is one of the tractors that you start with on the stock maps, Bjornholm and Westbridge Hills, and it's cool. I don't care what anybody says. It is cool. It's kind of a standard tractor. If you had a small um, farm, this is the kind of tractor that you would use, I would say. Um, and it's just cool. I mean, it's small, but it's still pretty powerful. And, um, yeah, I, I'd be uh, pimping in it. They'd see me rolling. That's all I'm saying. Um, but, hey, that's not why you're watching this video. For a tiny little tractor like this you're watching the video for this reason <laughs> yes I did say the biggest and the best did I not so we're gonna scroll through them all and we might we're gonna do some towing and some maneuvering and, and seeing what's what with some of them spend more time on others than others more time on some than others uh, but Let's jump straight in with the John Deere 7930. So instantly, it's got the upper hand over most of the other tractors because, yep. Ooh. Because it's a John Deere. So that instantly makes it one of the coolest tractors you can have. The interior is pretty detailed for a uh, kind of a personal mod um, and it's a John Deere and it's twin wheeled <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed have you noticed that so and also I found with this mod uh, the controls to be very very responsive uh, so it's like put the power down and you're off and away which isn't necessarily a bad thing so what we're going to do with this is we're going to get a combine and he's going to unload into here. That is all that's going to happen. So I'm going to quickly go and buy a uh, combine and set it going and then we'll get back to the tractors. Okay, so we've set that combine, the biggest you can get obviously, uh, on his way. So we'll start unloading him. So John Deere, quad wheeled or twin wheel, depends on how you're looking at it and pretty detailed on to the next one so this is one that I actually have only just um, installed which is the New Holland T6160 and I like it because it's compact, small and compact, but it's still got big wheels it's not too small uh, it's really detailed on the inside as you can see and it makes a pretty cool noise I'm not going to tell anything with this because it's too small <laughs> doesn't warrant it but I, I actually really like this one I mean most of the tractors that we're going to look at today are massive but these this kind of tractor shows you that massive isn't necessarily better so this is like a modern day small in inverted commas tractor uh, which I like next one now this is actually my favorite uh, it's the Fent 939 Vario as you can see um, and I just think it looks mega. Fent is one of the coolest makes. And just look at it, as I said. Just look at it. It says you can do twin wheels, but I still... Oh, it's worked. I've never been able to do that before. But hey, it's twin wheels. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, the work lights. Ah, okay, so if you press that, you even get work lights, you get that. It doesn't have an IC like some of them, which is slightly disappointing, but I'm not quite sure about the noise. 
Um, but the looks, I just think it looks mega. And um, I'm not going to do any towing or sewing or drilling or whatever you want to call it with this one just because you'll have seen a lot of this on my mod showcase videos and mod madness videos a lot before. So we're going to park this one up out of the way. The only one let down of this is the uh, interior. It doesn't have a great interior. So without further ado, on to the next one. Now this is interesting. I have only just installed this, so I don't actually know what I can put with it. I haven't got the right um, attachment for it, but hey, what more needs to be said? Let's have a look what it is actually called. You deserve that much. Well, you deserve everything. Uh, it's called the Zerion 3800VC, uh, which is cool. Uh, again, the interior is lacking somewhat, and the camera is very bizarre, but it's cool because <laughs> it's glass, cool make, and it looks absolutely bonkers. So, um, throughout this video, you're going to notice that my knowledge is a bit lacking. You can do quite good drifts in this as well. Um, so I am more than happy, in fact I welcome you to help me out uh, in the comments. So please let me know kind of what uh, attachment I can use with this um, and any names uh, that I'm missing or I've got wrong. Again, I'm more than happy to accept that I'm not very genned up on uh, tractors and their names and what they go with etc. So I'm happy for you to help. Next one. Now this is one of this is up there with my favourites. So this is a John Deere, and it's got "Born to Farm" written on the back of it. And what more needs to be said? It's king cool. Excuse my language. So we're actually going to use this one. I've never used it before to do actual towing stuff. You need good lot of power to tow this. Whoa, it's quite twitchy, to say the least. It is coping. Refill suit. Uh, right. Keypad 7 to put twin wheels on it, which makes it even cooler. Um, yeah, Born to Farm. John Deere, massive. We'll come back to that once it's filled. Now this, I, again, knowledge please help me out is this real because if it is it's cool as hell if it's not it's still cool but slightly disappointing it's John Deere 6 210R 6210R 6210R or 6210R <laughs> um, but again I think it's pretty cool quad track get a weight on it and this guy is going to go and help out with the unloading John Deere's stick together so I'm not sure how much power this got, has got but from the feel of it not a massive amount it's already almost uh, struggling with just that trailer which is disappointing right the big bud the biggest tractor in the world, I'm led to believe. Now, I'm not sure if that's true, but as you can tell, it's American. Yeah, really. I mean, look at the size of it compared to the Burra. Boot Burra. It's ridiculous. I've done an entire video on this tractor, so go and check it out. Um, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this one. This is, see, this video is more of a list of my favorite tractors. Um, and obviously, this is all down to personal opinion, so let me know what you guys think if you or let me know what your your favorite um tractors are whether they're just because they're cool because they're massive because they're powerful because they're a bit different let me know which your favorite are uh, big bud not gonna lie it's not one of my favorites but it is bloody massive and it's got a wood dash <laughs> this is cool because it's a deutzvar which is one of my favourite makes of tractor, if not the favourite. I mean, I'm a John Deere fan, 
not going to lie because I'm British. But as far as foreign tractors go, Deutzfahrer is probably my favourite. And this was actually, um, I got this as a um, extra because I downloaded the game or the simulator directly from giant software rather than through Steam and I got given this and another tractor that we will see shortly but as you can see as you'd expect pretty detailed on the inside and it looks cool. Next up is a mod which is actually uh, in kind of development phase this is from the farming simulator official website uh, which is mods kind of in development or beta testing this is up there with my one of the coolest New Holland tractors, that's for sure. So it looks mega. Looks cool driving. Um, let me know if you guys like the whole track, quad tracks, or just rear tracks, or if you're, you like good old fashioned wheels and tyres. Because um, I know that these kind of things annoy some people because they're not, you know, annoy the traditionalists because they're not what a tractor should look like. Uh, but hey, times change needs need to be met etc so i like it i think it's cool jcb what more needs to be said fast track this is the faster of the two fast tracks so this is the 8310 there is a smaller i think it's 3210 or 3220 maybe something like that um, which is smaller and less powerful but no less cool jcb so this is the official downloadable content from giant software um, along you get kind of skid steer you get telehandlers front loaders all by JCB so, uh, again I've made a, another uh, specific video for that uh, on my channel so go and check it out there we go this is the other one that I got for downloading it direct rather than through Steam I got a Lamborghini that's right La Lamborghini! If you anybody seen KSI's Lamborghini music video? It's a Lamborghini. What what more could you possibly want? Let's go and get this guy sewing somewhere. With my needlessly big wheels. Let's go for 17, shall we? And I'm gonna go for canola. We've gotta go and buy it first, but I mean look at that tractor. How cool is that? So you have to be in the farm to put the wheels on. Okay, that makes sense, but that's why I've never got it to work before. Beacons, again, just make everything cool. As you see, I might have cheated on the money on this one. I think that's 65 trillion pounds. It's realistic though, that's pretty much my, my income. 198 grand, yeah. I don't care, I'm loaded. It's it's big. <laughs> so let's unfold it. And I believe you can fertilize and drill with this. I've forgotten to fill up the fertilizer. So it'll give some another tractor a job when it to fertilize this. Right. Whoops. Go, sent him on his way. That is long. It's more like a land train than a tractor and so on, isn't it? Uh, right, where do we get to? We got to another Deutzfahrt. So this is kind of my go-to tractor. If I do a map, which I've got a few on the go actually, which I might do videos on. Let me know if you want to see them. Uh, this is my go-to tractor for a game where I gave myself a little bit of money at the start um, and then kind of take it away. So I buy some more kind of extra kit and this is always the tractor that I get because I do love a Deutz far. Um, again, I can only apologise if I'm saying that wrong. But hey, let's go and join the party over here. Up in here. No reason really. Now this little dude, the style 4115 multi um, I think is mega look at it little compact little thing I think it's only got about 120 horsepower or 110 horsepower something like that but 
again it's like the little burrow thing it's, it's like a modern day equivalent it's a little tiny tractor just to compare sizes it's not that much bigger really it's got wider tires and slightly taller it's slightly higher but it's it's kind of just because it's modern I personally think but again as you'd expect from giant software awesomely detailed interior um, and I just love it for the little jobs you know like towing little trailers or when you've got a smaller farm small cultivator that sort of thing it's awesome and I've been using it quite a bit on a co my Cobra Park Farm playthrough and series so check that out this is I'm not I'm gonna say it now I'm not a massive fan of articulated tractors I think they look cool but I find them annoying to drive I'm a bit closer to the steering wheel than this but it is bloody massive I think it's pretty much the quad track but just on wheels I'm not sure there's too much difference in them to be honest the old New Holland T9565 but it looks cool doesn't it this was originally my favourite this is the one that was famously seen on Top Gear uh, the 620 quad track by Case one that Hammond drove and tried to plough with but failed it's really easy to drive on this you only need three keys <laughs> um, but again it's very similar to the New Holland lost its charm a little bit this was one of the more famous ones from when the um, from just before Farming Simulator 15 came out and they were releasing kind of teaser videos they uh, released a lot of footage of this tractor and you can see why I mean there was nothing like this on Farming Simulator 13 and uh, it's got track so everybody's instantly gonna be like oh my god I need it so yeah this is up there, I use this a lot again on my other games where I turn and where I crank up the cash a bit and start to get me started. Now, this tractor is one that I've been looking forward to getting onto is the Class 950 Axiom. Now, I've done a uh, like previous massive mods video, included this tractor, and a number of people pointed out uh, that you have IC on this. So it means if you press spacebar you can interact with your interior. So you can open the door, which now I can't close. Close the door. You can draw down your sun blind. Uh, what else can you do? Turn that on. Open GPS weight. So as you can see, amazingly detailed. I mean, it's just mind blowing. You can change all of the screens on this. It's mega, but as you can see, we and also the, the gear stick, the gear stick moves, which is cool. Um, you can open the door, as I said, go through them, turn it off, etc., etc. But one thing that was bugging me was that I couldn't move the steering wheel. But alas, you can. But as you can see, it does seem to skip forward slightly. Look, it is moving you just look it's moving on its own so it's still slightly buggy but it looks mega you can imagine this in real life fields it sounds good and you even get your own forest track. but as you can see you get loads of different screens it looks good on the inside the gear stick moves around and uh, yeah that's probably it's I've only used this a couple of times but it is starting to wind its way into my heart as one of my favorites and if it didn't move while it was stationary then it would probably be in my top three at the moment it's only in top five <laughs> but I'm sure it will move up because with the interaction it just adds a whole nother layer of realism to this already amazing simulator and that's it so we started off with this tiny little fella and we've gone through all of these so he must be ready to upload, surely. Let's go over in the John Deere. So he's made it completely to the end. Oh, no he didn't. Just couldn't make it. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you think. Um, 
let me know which your favorite tractors are and it let obviously let me know if I've missed any these are obviously the only ones that I've come across on various different mod websites so please let me know which ones you like let me know you know uh, what your favorite is what style of tractors you like and also as I've said please help me out with some names and things like that with the tractors that would be much appreciated so my favorite is currently this um, this one's pretty cool as well but that the Fent is probably my favorite I have to say uh, what else I like the JCBs Deutzfahr is my favorite kind of go-to tractor and this one is just yeah getting there it's nearly there so please subscribe for more videos there's always going to be mod videos for uh, farming simulator 15 on my channel um, so until next time enjoy your farming see you later goodbye